you recently joined Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. Um, not too long ago, you revealed that they actually tried to get you for season one, like years ago, you said no. Why did you initially say no? And what made you have a change of heart all these years later? Well, years ago, I was coming fresh from a very bad public breakup. Um, and I was still healing, kind of going through some finding myself, um, finding myself challenges, you know, coming in this industry at 15, being in a group, having to literally do homeschooling, leave all my friends, go straight into stardom, touring, being right away from, you know, family and friends and going into a, a relationship at such a young age, a serious relationship publicly and just dealing with different challenges. It was a lot for me and I wasn't the healed woman that I am today. Like it was so hard for me to really just deal. We were on the brink of um, social media transforming into what it is now to where, you know, it's pretty much everybody's paparazzi, you know? Um, and now because I'm older, I feel that it's my duty, it's my job to be that voice for up and coming women or just women, period. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To use my platform to help others, to shed light and share my experiences, whether they be good experiences or bad experiences. I feel like just being truthful and being, you know, vulnerable and being honest has always seemed to help other people. And most importantly, it's, it, it helped myself. So that was the first thing. Secondly, at the time, I was trying to come on to um, clear up my name because I knew that it was portrayed like I was a home wrecker or I just knew that if I didn't stand up and speak for myself like I didn't speak up for myself 11 years ago, then it would hurt me more than it would help me. So I said, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. I get another chance to do this right, to do this again. You know, sometimes we were not blessed enough to have second chances. And I knew that I was ready, you know what I'm saying, for the second chance. And I was just going to be authentic. I wasn't going to be, I was going to be vulnerable and I wasn't going to hold anything back. 